Hi there, my name is Conrad and in this video I'm going to show you a couple of quick keyboard shortcut tips that you may or may not know about and will hopefully speed up your workflow. Uh, the first one is a keyboard shortcut that's been around in Nuke for a long time but I only really started using recently and when I started using it I was thinking, oh, I should have been using this forever and maybe there are other people out there that didn't know about it. So um, let me show you that one first. So this is a way of connecting two nodes together without having to drag this pipe. So I use it a lot with uh, cameras when I've got one camera in my script and I'm trying to connect all my scanline renders to this one camera um, so that it's all in one place. And often, you know, in a big script, I would have to try and drag this and my camera's way up here and I've got to hold down my mouse and then drag and then find my camera and connect it up. And with a huge script with lots of stuff going on, that can be a real pain. Uh, you often lose where you're going and can't find the camera anyway. So, and, and when you zoom out like this to see the camera and the node together, you're so far out that you can't grab the pipe of your dot anyway. So uh, this is a keyboard shortcut that I remembered to start using and it's uh, changed my life. So if I select the dot, this is the source, uh, sorry, this is the destination of where I want my camera to be connected to. And then I zoom out and I go and find my camera up here. If I hold down shift and select my camera, I now have both of them selected. You can see that they're both selected yellow. Now, if I just hit Y, it's gonna connect the two which is great, much easier way than dragging your pipe all the way across your script. The order in which I selected these is important. So if I go up here, if I disconnect this, and I go up here and I select my camera, oh, there we go, and I select my camera, and then I go down here, hold down shift, and select my dot, and now if I hit Y, you can see that the pipe's going in the other direction, so the dot is now connected to the axis input of my camera, which is not what we want in this instance. So with the stuff connected in this order, if I connected the cam, sorry, if I selected the camera first and the dot second, if I do shift and Y instead of just Y, if I do shift and Y, it connects it the way I want it. So knowing the order in which you want to connect is important. And knowing that if you've connected it in the wrong order, you can do shift Y to connect the other way around. So I would usually connect, uh, sorry, select my, uh, my dot first just because that's where I usually am in my script. And then I go and find the camera I want. Then I shift select, then I just hit Y and that connects up my camera to my scanline render. And that works with everything. It's not just dots and cameras. Um, so if you're connecting to a read node at the top of your tree or a roto that's somewhere else, you can connect that way. But I find it's, uh, now that I've started using it recently, it's really uh, sped up my workflow a little bit. Now the next uh, couple of tips, one of them I don't use very often, but I should use more. Um, and then one of them I use all the time. So in this stack of nodes here, I've got a grade, sorry, a checkerboard, a grade, a blur, a roto, and an alpha. And if we look here, we can see that um, I've blurred my checkerboard and then I've added my roto to add an alpha channel and I have pre-multiplied it to get this result. Now in this instance, I've realized that actually I wanted to blur, should have done the blur after the pre-multiply because I want the blurred edges to come with the blurred image. I don't want this hard edge. So I want to move my blur node below the pre-mult node. Now, if I was doing that the, old, the sort of default way, I would have to disconnect both ends of the blur node and then I can bring it around here and I can just drag it into pop, but getting the blur node out of the tree, if I want to move it back, you've got to disconnect this end, disconnect this end, it's a lot of clicking and it's a little bit fiddly. So there's a couple of uh, keyboard shortcuts that can speed this process up. The first one, which I use all the time, uh, and I would probably use in this instance just because it's my default way, is to use uh, Control or Command. I'm on a Mac, so it's Command. Command, Shift, and X. Hold all three down, and it will pop the selected node out of the tree. Um, I can do that with several nodes at once and it will keep their connections together but pull them out of the tree completely so I can um, just get get rid of them. So instead of delete, if I don't want to delete something and I want to use something somewhere else or I want to move it somewhere else, it's a great way of popping stuff out of the tree. So one more time, Command, Shift, X, 
pops my blur node out without having to mess around with the pipes and then I can just drag it down here and put it in the right spot. And now you can see that I've got the nice soft edge along with my soft image to go with my roto, uh, which is great. Now, that's the way I would normally do it, but there is another way which I forget about. Uh, and when I do remember it, it's pretty handy. Um, with my node selected, if I hold, if I press command, control on a Windows or Linux box, and I hold that down and I press up and down on my arrows on my keyboard, you can see that it will move your selected node up and down the tree that it's in and it will change where it is. So in this case, that's probably a better way of doing it. I keep forgetting about this particular option, but it's actually a really handy way of uh, moving nodes around in your tree if you remember that. So command and up and down, moves your node up and down in the tree, command shift X, pops it out completely um, and keeps everything else connected. Both are really handy. Um, so the next one uh, that I'm sure a lot of people know, but some people might not, is uh, when you want to create a new node and connect it to a, new, a separate branch of your script. So in this case, if I have my, my pre-mult selected and I want a new blur node and I hit B, that blur node is going to connect into my existing tree and you know now I've got two blurs stacked up which might not be what I want in this case. If I want to branch off a separate blur node here, I could hit B, oh, sorry, I could select nothing, hit B, and then connect it like this. It's fine. Or I could hold down shift when I hit B, and now it connects it to the node that was selected, and it makes it on a new branch straight away. And that works even if I was selecting stuff from over here. So if I um, go and find my blur in the filter here, and I do shift B, when I click on it, sorry, shift and click on it up here, it creates a new branch. So when you are adding nodes and you know that they're going to be a separate branch, holding down shift when you create a node is a great way of uh, doing that quickly. So that's um, shift on its own. Um, now the last one for this quick little video is um, flipping inputs. So in this case, I have my uh, rotoed checkerboard here and I'm placing it over my just constant background here. Now, if I decide that actually I want the constant over the checkerboard, um, in this case, I should have an alpha channel, so let's do that um, for this to work. If I select this uh, merge node, I could disconnect, disconnect, and then connect A to B like this, and now my checkerboard is hidden by my constant because it's over or with a, um, a merge node or anything with multiple inputs, I, it works with a dissolve node, I think, um, or a switch node. If I do shift X with that node selected, it flips the inputs around. So that's another really quick tip for uh, modifying the inputs on a merge node or a node with multiple inputs. So I hope those uh, little quick keyboard shortcuts uh, speed up your workflow a little bit. I've seen a bunch of juniors when I've been teaching who are doing a lot of manual disconnecting and fiddly connecting and stuff like this. So uh, knowing a few of these keyboard shortcuts can really just help you work a little bit faster, a little bit smoother and get your job done a little bit quicker. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, uh, subscribe for more of these kind of videos um, and uh, thanks for watching.